Hi everyone. So this is the next part in the guide to building a chassis from our laser cut chassis pack. So this is the lower rails of the chassis. So in this part of the video you'll need a tape measure. You'll need drawing, which I think is number five from the uh, manual that you'll find in Dropbox. It's labelled GTS 40. 0017 which uh, shows the tube layout you'll also need uh, all of the 40 by 40 section tubes that are labeled or uh, and they'll be laser etched on them um, T1 so that's and if we just go around the chassis uh, right at the front you've got T1001 T1002 T1003 T1004 down the side, T1005 is its handed version, T1006 is the base of the seat back bulkhead, T1007 either side in the engine bay, T1008 this side, T1008L on that side. So that's what you need for this um, part at the moment. Just going to lay out the basic uh, bottom of the chassis. Okay, so as you can see, what I've done is clamped down the main sort of square part of the um, bottom of the cockpit, uh, just using lots of G clamps. And um, one thing to notice on the T1006, you need to arrange it such that you've got these holes pointing upwards and a pair of the same holes in the same position pointing backwards it's very easy to get this upside down or rotate it through 90 degrees so that these point forward uh, if you do that then you'll have trouble later on with the uh, engine bay section let's just keep a note of that um, so the next thing to do is just to make sure because this is the base of the chassis, this kind of sets how square and level everything is. Although I'm building it on a jig that I know to be level and square, uh, you're likely to be building it probably just on something flat. Now because it's laser cut and you've got these socket sections going into holes, you'll find that it stays pretty, pretty flat and square anyway. Um, but it's well worth just doing a a check at this stage, make sure that nothing's so far out that when you uh, come to something later it causes you a problem. And the best way to do that is to take diagonal measurements from one side, from here, across to that corner. So we'll do that now. So that measures the same both sides to within less than a millimetre. And that's the kind of thing that you're looking for and should be able to expect. Um, I literally, I've done nothing there but line it up with the jig sections and clamp it down. Um, so you should expect to see the same thing as, uh, again when you do it. So uh, if you just do that for peace of mind any time that you've put a section on, um, you shouldn't find that you go too far wrong. Okay, so now I'm going to just take the opportunity to tack these tubes together uh, just so that I can get some of my clamps back, otherwise I'd need millions of clamps. So I'm just going to tack in the corner, in the internal corners of each of the uh, four corners at the bottom of the cockpit here, uh, just to keep them in place and then I can take some of those clamps off and use them somewhere else.
Okay, so I'm moving forward now to the front of the chassis. So I'm going to put the T1001 and T1002 tubes together. They literally just socket into the holes that are there and um, clamp them down and then we'll weld those in as well. Right, so now we move to the engine bay part of the chassis and we're putting in the T1007 and the T1008 tubes. Uh, just keep in mind that the T1008L, which is a handed tube, goes on the left hand side of the chassis and these form the lower part of the uh, engine bay. So again, they just sock it together and line up. Uh, quick measurements to make sure that we've got them um, true and then we'll clamp them in place and tack them together and then that's pretty much uh, it for this part of the video we'll move on in another video to putting in the triangulation and some of the other features of the lower part of the chassis in another video
and that's it for now that's it for the this part of the video I'll move on in another one to uh, finishing it off and then the triangulation some of the other tubes and then we'll after that we'll do another part where we start building it into a 3d chassis by putting some of the vertical tubes in and then some of the top rails of the chassis and you see the cockpit come together so this including setting the video up has taken and sorting the tubes out has taken me 45 minutes um, so it's a relatively quick process thanks for watching like and subscribe to the youtube channel and you'll get automatic updates when i do the next part uh, hopefully you'll uh, find it easy enough to follow along and do your own at home